Tonight, a second lawsuit has been filed after a deadly Orange County warehouse fire. This fire happened back in December, we told you. At a fireworks company, four people were killed. This is now the second wrongful death lawsuit filed against that company. News 6's Molly Reed has the details. That lawsuit was filed by 24-year-old Landon Borland's family. He was one of the four people killed in that massive fire at the Magic in the Sky Fireworks Company warehouse. It's been three months since the deadly fire at the Magic in the Sky Fireworks Company warehouse on Central Florida Parkway. One employee was severely injured and four others died. Borland, 22-year-old David Gonzalez, and 23-year-old Lindsay Phillips died within two days of being hospitalized. 22-year-old Elizabeth Tiralongo died within five days of being in the hospital. Borland's family is the latest to file a wrongful death lawsuit in the last week. The 23-page document lists Magic in the Sky and SeaWorld along with half dozen other entities. The allegations claim that Magic in the Sky, quote, intentionally recruited and hired young adults with little or no experience in commercial pyrotechnics or fireworks. It also claims SeaWorld should have known about the working conditions of the warehouse and failed to minimize any risks. Earlier in the week, Tara Longo's family filed their suit against Magic in the Sky and other companies. It claims employees weren't properly trained, smoke alarms did not work properly, and the warehouse was unlicensed. News 6 first told you right after the fire in December, Orange County Commissioner Myra Uribe found Magic in the Sky did not have a permit to store fireworks in this warehouse. Instead, it was licensed to only store furniture. Most of the companies listed in both lawsuits are owned by two people. Jacob Dell telling News 6 he did not want to comment on behalf of his companies. And Yachek Minaj saying he's already hired a team of lawyers and didn't have further comment. SeaWorld has also not responded to our request for comment. That is the largest entity being sued in both of these lawsuits. Now, we also checked in with detectives and we're told this fire and the explosion still remain under investigation. In the newsroom, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.